One of the questions that we're asked most often is, what can be done so that a problem I had with the courts in the past doesn't show up on a background check? I'm looking for a job, or I'm trying to get a professional license, and I had a scrape with the law in my 20s, and I'm hoping it doesn't show up on my record. Is there something that can be done? These types of questions are asked by people in their 30s and 40s and 50s about things that happened when they were in college, or they're asked by parents on behalf of their children and in countless other circumstances. In New Jersey, we're very fortunate to have a process that goes a long way toward solving these types of issues. The process I'm talking about is called an expungement. An expungement is a process that's created by our legislature that results in the records of your arrests and convictions being sealed in a lot of circumstances so that they don't show up on a criminal history background check. An expungement, once granted, allows a person to answer most questions on job applications or license forms as if the prior arrest or conviction did not even occur. It's pretty obvious that this can be a major benefit for someone looking for a job or seeking to get a professional license, or even applying to attend a college, university, medical school, law school, or any other type of graduate school. If you're looking for an expungement, the first thing that has to be done is to gather all of the available information about all of your prior court matters. I'm not talking about traffic tickets or speeding tickets or even DWI cases, because those matters on your driving record cannot be expunged. Expungements are only for criminal cases in superior court and disorderly persons and municipal ordinance violations from the municipal courts. And when I'm talking about the information that needs to be gathered, I mean dates, complaint numbers, dates of disposition, and the exact manner in which the cases were resolved. If you don't have the information available, hope is not lost because an attorney can help you get the information that's needed. The second step is to analyze all of the information to determine which of your matters are available for expungement. Most criminal convictions, but not all, can be expunged after a certain waiting period. Matters that were dismissed following pretrial intervention or a conditional discharge can also usually be expunged. And depending on how many, convictions in municipal court for disorderly persons and ordinance violations are available to be expunged after a waiting period. Cases that were outright dismissed are almost always available to be expunged. There are also some factors that might preclude you from getting an expungement. If you have a case that's pending, that's ongoing, and hasn't been resolved, you can't get it expunged or any other matter expunged until your open case is finished. Additionally, convictions for certain offenses may preclude you from getting an expungement of that or other offenses. Although you can try to ascertain for yourself if you're eligible for an expungement, the process can get pretty complicated, so you may wish to consult with an attorney who has experience in this area. Once it's determined that you're eligible for an expungement, the next step is for a set of legal papers to be prepared and then filed with the court. The most important of the papers is called the expungement petition, and the statutes are very particular about what information needs to be included. The person seeking the expungement must sign the petition himself or herself and swear under oath that all the information is accurate and true. Once the papers are prepared and signed, they're filed in court, and then they're served on a number of different agencies. This can be a technical process, but your expungement can be delayed or denied if the petition is not complete or you haven't served all the appropriate parties. Most expungements are heard and decided by the court without the need for you or your attorney to actually appear in court. The court will decide whether the expungement petition should be granted after waiting a period of time for objections to be filed. If an objection is filed, it can sometimes be corrected by amending the paperwork, but in rare occasions, a judge may have to decide a legal issue after hearing arguments from the parties involved or even reviewing briefs. If everything goes smoothly, the court will grant the expungement petition and sign the order of expungement. But this doesn't end the process because once the expungement is received, it has to be served on all of the government agencies that were entitled to get notice when the petition was filed. And serving these papers on the agencies is very important because they have to take the necessary steps to correct their records. Having a record expunged doesn't mean it's erased. 
However, it means that the law requires all of the agencies having custody of the records to take those records and separate them from other matters that are in the public domain and put them in a separate place. Once the expungement is granted, the law allows the person who got the expungement to answer questions about the expunged matter as if they had not even occurred. However, there are exceptions, and even people who have had their records expunged may still need to consult with their attorney to determine how to answer certain questions on a job application or license application. You should also remember that expunged records can still be accessed under certain limited circumstances. So what does all this mumbo-jumbo mean to the average person? It means that there's a process in New Jersey called an expungement that's very helpful for people who are worried that something in their past history with the courts might show up on a background check as part of a job application or license application. A qualified and experienced attorney can help you obtain an expungement and answer any questions you may have about the effect of an expungement. If you'd like to discuss the issues about your particular matter with an experienced attorney, feel free to contact any of the attorneys on the criminal defense team here at Wilentz, Goldman and Spitzer. Each year we process hundreds of applications for expungements for our clients, whether we handle the case that's being expunged or not. Getting an expungement can only help you find a job or get a license renewal in a very competitive job market.